described as an ambitious self-starter with a thirst for knowledge who seizes every opportunity to improve herself and do better. Uh, she's currently doing a research project on how, to, uh, how developing countries can access space through satellites, uh, enabling developing countries to get independent and modern information technology and she hopes to facilitate that Hagerna Eritra can not only reach the sky, but the space. Uh, without further ado, please welcome Bitsaiti Helen Heile to the stage. say thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. It's too much. I think uh Thank you very much for being here. I'm really privileged. Okay. I think this is my first time st standing up and I am comfortable hiding myself somewhere, but not standing up on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah. What can I say? It's a privilege being in here. It's, uh, I'm humbled. Thank you very much for listening and uh, yeah, I hope I can add value to each individual, each individual and make you a space engineer, you know. If not, why not? <laughs> Let's crack on. <laughs> All right, and my, today I'm gonna talk about the skies new limits, if not, the space. And you probably heard for the last, uh, and SpaceX, NASA, ESA, Rome. Uh, I was trying my best, you know. Uh, but here, I'm trying to share my knowledge. Hopefully, you get enlightened, learn or something. Thank you. So, as you can see, in 1967, so as you know, we have um, the United Nations, but we have as a United Nations for outer space. But in the outer space, the NATO treaty law, the Gentile Mosino, the expropriation of the use of outer space is for all humankind. So let's see how things are going, how's, who is using the space, how's the end of who, who is this. So we're going to discuss about it. So next, please. Okay, uh, I'm gonna speak about my space journey, how I get involved, coming here and uh, space for development, project in and the and then finally, <laughs> I'll give my conclusion. And my space journey, um, actually, I wasn't planning on a space journey. I was space 
علامه ينبر ان نابزينا يتفر كاتو اب ايرثرايا تولي دعبي ب باني با اني مينس نيسيسري اير فورس علامه ينيرو تن كم تناب قدامي تمر يوم زراخون اشي ينيرو علامه ينيرو اي اي فيل ان انا سويد I knew that I'm going to be, that's what I wanted. I wanted to be a pilot in the Air Force. But of course, I came to Kul Steps Gabro, Naps Siddhartha Amrihe Malati. And I came to the. 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 I couldn't think. Anything, okay, pilot, okay, Ilario, Susasa Ash, Kavikum, so that is Sasa Ash, and Air Force Night, I think this Kade, are you dual citizen, Lomini? Not yet, not yet, but yeah, and I got, I mean, I went through the whole interview processing that I wish I said some man, and then okay, do you know what? There must be something I can do. And had the iron and her flows a given course, and more why not building it? I'm not a space industrial team, I'm a little. So here I am, and what happened is, um, comes to the world of Kulu Alam, you was it in America, UK, Germany, Italy, and Russia, Tamahera. Of Australia, Japan. So this is how I start my journey. Uh, next, please. So I did. Next, please. That's actually uh, go back. Go back. Okay. Uh, that's actually in French Guiana Space Center in uh, next to Brazil. So even now you have to hear me. And my background involved, I did when I decide like I'm going to build the aircraft. Decide here, no, and her is a higher than her. They 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 together. Okay, why not building it? Ila the same as our undergrad aerospace tamahera. They are okay. دهرای که امو دیکت اولو هیله ماستر آسترونوتیک یه رمانتی. سو اکه چنوا منو روبوتیک. ادید سامر سکول اب جاپان روبوتیکس. اند ادید موسکو باما تکنیکال اینستیتی. اوه سامر این اگین اب سپس. اند بیتین اینترنشنال سپس اینستیتی اند Australia, again, space. <laughs> so uh, here I am. And uh, the project I was involved, uh, next please, next. The uh, project to start of course, I was lucky. At Lenya Huene, I was in Kemzi and Amsela project in Tashum Gere. After Tashum, I was in the first place of course. Secondary stage bar after niche the engine. I also say here, I'm a thermal engineer and a mechanical engineer, and I'm a Rolls Royce Macam system engineer. After I A350 engine, I'm say here, and finally, to be honest, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a space car. I'm not a spacecraft controller. The end of Europe's a lot of of weather satellites. I'm not a fan. With a satellite, I was working as a spacecraft controller. And when I was in the UK, I was adding this kind of command of the National Air Traffic Service of the Civil Aviation. I always had a good gain at the system after NATO system or of Sarahani or Malati with the facility the Herbaita. And so, in that it affects the level Kalana. Entitled of a kind of a calamity, just in English, help and inspire and give a sense of uh, 
uh, an inspiration, hope, confidence, and accomplishment. I've been working on a lot of things. I've been Dream, achieve, accomplishment, and sense of uh, you know, sense of like, you know, uh, we did it. That's if uh, if you J John F Kennedy can some we are gonna go to the moon. A sense of accomplishment. So here I am <laughs> discussing sense of accomplishment in here. And when we think uh, actually, when we think normally in general. Uh, from out, when you are from outsider, I've done some work today. Oh, entire space, entire effort. Can we call it? Now, then, satellite, satellite, and then uh, astronaut, and the game. I effort said. Man, work, work, effort. I know. Man, I'm in between. So, man, work, work, effort. Iran, Iran. Again, actually, the what's the industry actually for real? Oh, not the entire muscle, like industry. It component part. Actually, we have satellite manufacture, which is manufactured to go not actual satellite. And then again, this is from high level and support ground equipment, the antenna. And um, and then call it Nafta nata satellite nabala, na space tips ahanadema is the launch industry in blue. I'm going to go to privatization of the space. I'm going to go to the industry. I'm the to the It's the extreme. That's how you satellite. You know, you go into antenna. You go, you are, you go satellite, and then Mr. Antenna in Rahab, and then finally, after that, now in the area of what's the name? Sorry, GPS. GPS can get broken. Already, but get away antenna. Lo, Mr. Antenna connect the government after in the area. And then finally, after satellite connect the government. Now, it's just that's how work the satellite network. If you're gonna see. It. And then, so when we look at the um, next, please. So, so entire day, entire benefits, Gabriel. Entire day, to amo, we will know. Entire to amo, the now, all the same. The first day, the loss. What's actually the benefit? Obviously, one of the main benefit we are going to see is this is the European Union project, which we have. We are going to have climate change, marine resource, astros, you know, the astrophysics, you know, atmosphere, monitoring, security, emergency. It's cool to see. I've space. Okay, nothing. Can only rock what I'm talking. The thanks. That's the that's the benefit of space. It just you got a lot of, like you you have a lot of benefit by launch by having that satellite in the space. So. So that's one of the few examples you can see. For example, space comes For example, when the the astronauts astronauts uh, research center, thanks to that, they had the baby. Yeah, thanks to the astronaut research, we have our day-to-day -day life has improved. For example. Formula food. So thanks to astronaut research, to go away. For example, and clean water, and um, you know, body monitoring system. You know, wearable technology. It's a car spin out to And and then at the end of the day, we have security and uh, quality of education above all. I quality education. If you see China for the last 20, 30 years, the quality of in the education has improved quite a lot. And if you, and then above all, we have as well job creation. In space, 
صراحة تعطي تفتر advanced job in terms of IT, engineer, scientist, everything you can think of it. So that's one of the benefit I can think. And um, next, please. Yeah. So when you look at it from economical point of view, so how much the value after the economical real holiness, how much the value uh, how much the value is adding value to the to the industry? Uh, I from Naiko uh, yeah, for example, for the next three years, you got 74 percent further increase employment. That's a lot, and expecting 53, 53 grows in a space export. So it's a lot of uh, export. It's a lot of grows. So. The gl uh, Ma Morgan Stanley, I just sat on research together with Omar you, from a Morgan Stanley point of view, by 2040, the space industry is going to be valued 350 billion. So that's a lot of, it's a lot of growth for the next 10 years. By 2040, it's 340, 350 billion. See? But I mean, half a trillion of humanity is in our industry. So, now I see. So, can they how much Can they just how much cost? Then, say, how much are you going to have? In the European Union, see how much cost, and then who is benefiting out of this um, space exploration? Can they how much? Had a space agents who can fit all of us? Can they how much? I just have the research areas. Uh, actually, it's ten pound per year per citizen. Now, I have the Europe all of us. Uh, European estimates the average 245 per year per citizen. It's cheap. It's cheap. It's 10 pound per 10 euro per year per citizen. It's less than a coffee. We get a lot of uh, benefit out of it. You know, your GPS, your satellite, your weather, your technology advancement, job, tax. It's a lot, big industry. So, yeah. So, career holana. So, who is benefiting? Menu. That comes a lot. Yeah, the first thing I could learn. Nah, nah. Or what I could learn. The menu. That comes a lot. So, so. I got to assess when the Jamiro will come. It's a project. The Jamiro is one of them. So, who is benefiting? Who who have access? Menu have access to law. So, can we get now have access to the job? But how many? Are we going to be there? This is the kind of question I have whenever I have an interview, whenever I go to a conference or meeting, start meeting, meeting can create a conference, create a lot. Many has to come and do it. Eritrea with you, Kenya with you, Sudan with you, Mandai. So that's, I've been doing this project by myself. Here I am to present you. So, next please, Yonata. So, as the uh, conference to sum up, the highlight is quite intriguing. It's quite intriguing, uh, Should it hit on Should developing country establish their own space agency? space manufacturing the law. No, there are already enough visible. Why not now they come? Why not now they need to come here in Zulumba? I've had them develop Zikbar Zibilsi, Yellen. Because as the end of the day, you have a lot of, um, a lot of, um, Tashimu, Tashibahal, lobby. According to this research, the, the guy, it just, it's a lot of um, lobbying going on. A, they are already, enough as observation, communication, satellite, existing manufacturing, but why not they use it? So we know that the African industry by itself, the, um, the African industry by itself is about 7 billion over 10 billion. It's going to be 10 billion for the next five years in terms of, so, so why it's question T? Why we didn't we do, why we need space? So a space program, you know, when you look at from a space program point of view, 
include space, science, engineering, technology, and when you develop your own space agency in Msale, I have a space agent in the health fitness. It's not for the Lena C, Hajin Msalis, Airtras, okay, no satellite Kuberle Ilas, of German the Hemesis. It's manpower, it's knowledge, it's technologies. I've Airtras Terrifnizello, I've German is Terrifzello. So it's not, it's unless you are going to develop your own your own space agency, your own industry, or your own way of to navigate in the space, the knowledge, the know-how, the technology, is not going to be remaining in your country. So that's a challenge. That's a challenge with a lot of African countries, a lot of developing countries. So it's again, know-how. So when you, look at, when you look at the benefit, why, you know, when a developing country should do should do uh, a space um, a space industry or even a small subsystem is the spill out or the spin off comes in below Ma'ati. Uh, we know that for long term economic success depend intellectual and advance in science and training know how and head of color is a bug or not illness it's no has to kill we just are paying, we are just providing a business for them. No, we are not getting a lot of things. So, and then we know that, we are, I gave example that, example here in here, tonight technology can spill over with the mark of these words, after research, after development words, and the And a lot of technology can, and the other thing is, and the other thing is, and the other so we are missing out on that as well. It's, we are missing out quite a lot. It's uh, innovation comes to a formula baby. I'm an astronaut girl who's together. The hassle, the hassle, maybe. The all right, how we are. So we are missing. We are missing in terms of the spillover. It's not only the actual business, the actual or sending satellite and operating stuff. Again, it's in a spillover technology. It is software, it is hardware, it is work. And her business is not going to be able to do it. So, it's not going to be able to do it. Question to us How, how, way, how, more, say, how, more developing country? Can we get on that? So, can we get on that? Yeah. So there are various ways where you can, we can access space and advancement. So as, a, as we discussed it before, directly by using already existing industry, KEDKA, uh, space agency, Airbus, or anyone, you can have, oh, can I have this satellite, this, this, this foot? You can train me there. You can train me. But that doesn't give a lot of, uh, a lot of um, how do you call it? At some point, it will not produce uh, a lot of know-how, technology, innovation you want to have. But the second one is by getting a contract. A lot of Nigeria, the, the first Nigerian satellite, the Nigerian satellite can reach all the Egypt satellite can reach all the way. And the UK STL Bal can do contract. Get them. Asset them. Israel's going to engineer them, train them. Then still. It didn't, um, it's grassroots, I resolve, I give it on. So, so what is the solution? Okay, what's the solution? So by starting, uh, by you start, like Turkey, let me say Turkey, a small, small part, you know, you have subsystems within that, Satellite, they start to build up their own uh, small, small part and in innovation, innovating the um, institute, the um, education, and uh, anything to come with that. That's how they start to build up themselves. And um, the third one is by just starting out this, the industry. You assume that like, that's how the UAE died. UAE, now I just asked for Ahmed, Sir Ahmed is a long term. UAE space agency, Hajina Mars, Hajim Zello, it's Ramit. They just go in, pour the money on it, they manage to succeed. 
but Eritrea cannot afford that. So how those uh, small country can do that? And then if we look at the current, next, if you look at the current African uh, men are low that have uh, 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 Africa. Is it any? Have then Hamsan Arbatan, Hamsan Shishendina? Is it any man? Is you? Because I see, in fact, tonight Ethiopia, Halai, when I aid China first for foreign aid satellites of Halista Gabre, and then um, Algeria, Ab uh, Tashmi build the Geru, the Algerian satellite, Ab uh, France build the Huino, the Ghana. Keeps uh, small in, and Egypt uh, build in Ukraine, this Egypt to build in um, Russia, they never build a home. So when you so what are the challenge with the Malatu and it's a challenge when you look at what's uh, the challenge and then uh, how those challenges can be overcome and tight again come again to again solve Kungabrun for so it's just one of the la uh, lack of technological in the developing country within the Habia the law it's in there's no sometimes there's no technology no is a whole advancement and then institution educational advancement and then there's a lack of lack of funding for it. you know busy ask what they will see I still after the Africa continent career Still, we haven't. Uh, we don't have that except Egypt. Egypt, I am. In Tashmo, in Tashmo, it's a law. Consistency, you know, to develop nice space agency, it's a law. So, so how can we address? Can we get not to solve the problem? It's in. It's come the ancient solution. So we have to come with a solution. Yeah, then. Uh, Keeps up the national satellite in, which is as small as as a go. Yeah, how can we um, address you know those one the keeps up Bahala, Nashtin, three one Kalahon, it's in subsystems easily built in an uh, in institution. Have a minor fist in her and Tashmo Gerkas, at least Ktala Medal and Tahliha. Still as good as. Thank you. As the NC, I'm not sure. Research, technology, and stuff that I'm a research, and student, and student, is to go Brian. So, how they they are as good as an Abbey satellite. Good, can you learn? And obviously, it is Abbey. Again, the data they give you, the information they have us, I'm as good as a big one. A lot of for example, this is a spillover of the um, in educational institution. And her uh, institution there and industry is getting involved to build those one. So keeps uh, they are small and uh, they they are cheaper and um, shorter development and as a smaller size of weight. So it's cheaper even to launch than the Nashasi. So it's not uh, expensive. So uh, this is how the recent years, the next one. So next in the recent years, this um, everyone have been launching. Is it the graph? Everyone has been launching those uh, innovation. Those. Um, uh, satellites, and so my current research, the research in Taiyu, I analyze the space for. I analyze whether those can be a solution for developing country. They can be, but the problem with those is that if you can see them, there is a lot of failure. Within one or two years, they fail. Within two years, 65 person fail. And you go, within zero day, 
if you look at the communication, 14% of the satellites fail. So those are the subsystem. Within 30 days, you go EPS 44% is going to fail. So even Eltrasi, I understand the value. I was in a question. I was in a considering the early Nathalas, I still fail to hold on humanity. So I see. And, and uh, when you look at, uh, when you look at, uh, when you look at, go next, the next please. So when you look at men alone, our Africa says, come in, come get them access, get them on. But how many access get everyone alone? Because I've been doing a lot of research, and then I looked at so many applications. So Rwanda is like either you have to collaborate, for example, Japan, Japan Haji, Aloha institution collaborate with you. And uh, so they train the engineer and they learn to the space, they take everything for you, they train you, they do everything. That's how Rwanda is managed to get access. And Egypt, they build the first CubeSat, the first satellite by um, Cooperating with the European Union, there are projects available. Comes the cooperation, and Ghana, again with a um, Japanese institution. So they had this kind of by doing this kind of collaboration without spending a lot of money. You can't get access. Next. So this is. The soil humanity, uh, um, I, I want to look at the, is there any other way, is there any access where Eritrea can get access, where can we get, how do we get access? So I found this program which allow, is part of the United Nations Outer Space and allows you to launch, to develop your skill and uh, to give opportunity even to further training the engineers. So these are, those are the opportunity provide uh, willing if Eritrea or any developing country is willing to do like the initial stage just to build a confidence, to build that kind of know-how without even spending a lot of money without, because the problem with um, space industry, a lot of developing country is that they start it, but they never finish it. So it's just, that's one of the challenges where at the beginning, Egypt has, um, Egypt has that issue. Jemmy Romo, never ending. So, so many of the, in terms of the Halifair, so Kenya had their own first satellite in Guatemala, Indonesia, Mauritius, Moldova, so, this is a kind of an opportunity for Eritrea and a way to create a job, a way to get access to the space. And when I did the project milestone, next please, milestone actually, if willing though, willing if the Minister of Eritrea collaborate in the Hergeromsi, within two years, within two years already, is launched to deployment. So it's not that hard or it's not that difficult to get this um, innovation. And if you look at them, if you look at like you do your kickstart meeting already within 15 to 18 months, you're building, testing, designing, and um, yeah, and then after that you get two, three months also the handover and launch and deployment. So it's quite uh, straightforward. It's not the way we think, it's not how we thought it hard. And I look at, so how did this uh, add, added value is gonna, be, is gonna be to Eritrea? And okay, so even though it's a small project, how would gonna enable the country uh, to, toward the space because it's, you know, we have seen the advantage of having a space access, having um, that innovation, what it look like. So as you can see, um, 
the um, gaining from uh, the gain is quite a lot. The, um, internet access, ground station, and having um, been interested in a space, you know, all of them, they like to dream and be interested. There are so many advantages this uh, innovation. And then I looked at, okay, who would be interested next? Who would be interested from uh, Eritrean government stakeholder? So as you can see, that are the primary stakeholder is Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of Education and Fishery Information because obviously the Ministry of Defense will want to have a security and the um, Ministry of Fishery is going to be more security as of the vision and education, obviously the uh, Ministry of Education will want to have more in the more trained, more innovative institution. So, yeah, those are the primary and secondary stakeholders which will be influenced somehow by having those access to the space. Um, uh, so now we, we hear a lot, quite a lot. We are hearing a lot in terms of uh, space, U.S. space defense, U.S. Elon Musk, and that's why we are hearing it in terms of like space defense. Um, it's quite, we don't know how it will go. You know, German established military space command, um, you know, Biden sending to space defense. So it's quite uh, intriguing. And at the end, we know that space is part of a national uh, security and space is political. And uh, by now, it's not an option in a sense. Space is not something you have like, I will leave it now or do it later. It's something you have to, it's a matter of existence at the end of the day. You know, we have seen it in, uh, during the war, how the space technology used two times, so it's idle. And yeah, and what's your space journey? Hopefully any of you would like to join me in what I do. So there are, and I did, space, this is a Space Generation Advisory Council. It's part of the, um, part of the UN, a branch of the US organization. I said, okay, uh, what should I do in this organization? I signed up hoping that at least the, the flag air trial is going to be there. Hopefully, <laughs> I can. Hopefully, the Menesiat, the club Menesiat, that's my, my goal is to give awareness, even though they don't go. They don't do it, okay. I'll learn about information. Information is a hiatus. At least I can train them. You know, that's the kind of, you know. In a sense, sometimes it's, you get busy, you don't do a lot of things, but you know, it's, it's going to be, uh, I'll go home and do that kind of activity. So this is part of it. If many say that, I will need a second reason. Yeah, so that's what I did. Um, so I did that and I said, okay, I will go and get involved in the project. Next, please. Oh, yeah, this is Space Advisory Project. It is part of uh, the United Nations Outer Office is it has permanent observer status. So you get access to advocate, you, you get access to talk about access to the space to developing country. How, how can we, you know, in the past, a lot of, uh, in this organization, they have developed a lot of training, training. So if, next. If you want to be in the Allahum Kab Asash Montesgab, the Salasan Hamshan Amatkum, you can get involved, you can join me. 
This is the project. If you want to gain a skill as well as give back back home, and uh, they have opportunity and they have scholarship, mentoring, and the UN. You know, you get to see in the UN campus uh, counseling, which is really good in my opinion. You get to advocate and talk, explain the challenge what developing countries are facing. And um, here is the flag. Go ahead. Oh, that's the community at Lohum. It's really good to join in, uh, in that organization. And next, please. And here, at least, there is the flag. So, <laughs> at least. So, hopefully, when I go back home, to Swagabur, when I go back home, obviously I have to, it's, I have two years mandates I have. I have to go and talk, I have to go outreaching, and then even to talk about it, even to contemplate, even to reflect, even I don't think, even though, you know, we might, we might not do it, but at least we talk about it. The more you talk, the more you talk, you entertain the thought. The Zarabalu, the Zarabalu, had a man to get had a tissue, Gabri. Again, at the moment, you Zarabalu. So hopefully, one day we can. And then the goal is next, please. The goals are my Alamai Manati, uh, outreaching for primary and secondary school uh, by using uh, local language. How I am here is space at Ferman Corcorsi, can we watch a mirror? How I am here in space education and university technical school and transferable skill awareness. You know, you need a skill as much as you can. Uh, event bringing uh, together youth organization, in this case, NYU. So that's how, you know, if they start to do it, the outreaching, if they start to talk, outreaching start develop. These things can be achievable, this thing it can be done. So yeah, and uh, hopefully hopefully, yeah, if you want to join Manisat, uh, if uh, from your yeah, space graduates, that's how look if you want to do if you will want to be the next astronaut minister why not so you can start actually it is if you want to be an astronaut you just need to have an engineer engineering or mathematic computer science degree of the humanity so hopefully one of you so any organization you want to join, if you want to work in the space industry, here's your chance. And this is the organization I used to work for. Wait. And this is the organization I'm currently working. So if you want to join, join. There are various opportunity you will, uh, you want, you would like to join. And hopefully, I will be able to see you in the future. So, so at the end of the day, this is just informative. It's not educative. It's just informative. Is this it? Inform. But will be left for us. I just be asset shot. Hamsan shotten. The space comes here. Nira. Tashan hamushten. Comes here. So what's for us, <laughs> you know, it's just this time, uh, it's quite interesting, it's just space is becoming commercialized, it's commercially it's around, you know, Kulu private, private institution, everyone is running to join to the space, so, and her, so, so that was the idea. I start to reflect and to research opportunity. Even though I can develop the skill, you can talk about it. 
that's my um, my food for thought you say in English well uh, obviously yeah throughout you know at the end of the day those throughout this career I've done a lot of um, I work in various industry in a various sector. So the challenges I learn, my hopes are hopefully one day, you know, we'll be able to celebrate the, you know, it's every sat in us celebrate Migabro Lumati. You hear the whole. If you want to learn about the, what's going on in the space, for example, that book is quite interesting. So that's the war in space. That's the next frontier, what's going on right now. So if you want to learn about the space, and if you want to have my free report as well, I can give you. The flag is in there. So. <laughs> and Yeah, you know, uh, I had an opportunity, you know, back, back. I worked in this satellite for just before pandemic. Um, unfortunately, um, the pandemic had wrecked my life, like everyone else. But um, we had an opportunity, like, to write something, you know, after I was at satellite, and I was just a... Uh, reliability engineer operating the satellite. Again, uh, we were manufacturing in-house the satellite to launch it. So the guys told us, oh, write something so that we can send it to the space. So I wrote Kibru So one day, one day, one day, one Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, you know, it's already written the space. You know, it's one of the satellites comes in Hadea. I don't know which one is which, because when you launch it, it's, you don't know. So, Abzi and Yazilla, so, you know, we are lucky to call, we are to call ourselves Eritrean. We are lucky to be here to call, you know, Nata Zahabuna Hamzilum. We are lucky to be to be in here to call Eritrean because some people have sacrificed their life. So <laughs> hopefully so it's already it's ab Samait Hifna Yulana. So so you know Whenever you feel, you, whenever, whenever you feel a kind of, uh, you know what, you lose hope, you lose comfort, it's already written in the space. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much.